What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, I want to talk to you about ticker ARCO. I want to go over what this company is all about, do a little bit more of a deeper analysis, and why you need to add this one to your watch list. Before I get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So right now, at the time of doing this video, it is at $11.84. It does have a fair amount of volume traded, so 778,000 shares being traded. Right now, with today being a Friday, 228 is kind of where is at Fridays usually do have lower volume so I'm not really concerned overly about that and plus with 778,000 being the average that does kind of rule out any liquidity concerns so that's something to consider if you are curious about what this company does do it is right down here so you can always pause it read through it fully but in essence it's more of a spin-off of McDonald's that's just my own interpretation but just more so for the territories in Latin America Caribbean and whatever else in all honesty I did not know this company existed and after doing a deeper dive it is pretty good and so again that's something to kind of consider just to look up right down here it does pay a dividend very small but it still does pay a 1.34 percent yield and looking at their dividends though their payout ratio is pretty acceptable so 22.35 percent so i wouldn't really be concerned about them cutting the dividend anytime soon but then again i don't really think anyone's getting into this company as a result of that it's more so the growth and their growth definitely is fairly impressive. So the recent earnings that just came out, so this one was at the end of January. So it did signal that they're intending on opening between 80 to 90 restaurants in 2024. And that's comprised of 90 freestanding restaurants. So their growth is still continued to just expand massively. Um, even in 2023, it looks like they opened 81 restaurants. So despite higher inflation, higher interest rates, this company still is expanding. Ending. And one comparable company that you can, I guess, look at is McDonald's. So starting off, looking at the PS and also the PE ratios for tickers ARCO. Also on a side note, I didn't really want to butcher it, but Arcos Dordos Holdings. Um, I probably should know that having a Latin wife, but I never really learned Spanish or whatever else. But still, hopefully I'm saying that right and not really butchering it. Aside from that, though, looking at the PE ratio, it is at 14. And like I said, one good comparable company is looking at good old McDonald's. So ticker is MCD. So in essence, their PE ratio is 25.2. Then again, they do have a lot more forecasted growth. Still, I feel like at this stage in the game, you can kind of look at some of their highlights from their recent earnings just to give you a deeper dive. So looking at ticker ARCO first, they have had more so on their last earnings, 22.7% growth. And if someone looked at this, like they would not consider like a lot of concerns happening on a global scale due to inflation. They are growing like nothing else. And even over and above that, their balance sheet, like they have about 251 million in cash and cash equivalents. So that's relatively good. 1.6 billion in debt. This company is profitable, obviously, like I said, with the PE ratio being apparent, but I'm not too concerned about the debt. This company doesn't seem to be doing all that many issuances. So worst case scenario, they could just wipe this out. It'd be very detrimental to the stock price, but they could get this gone if they really wanted to. But comparing it to McDonald's, so looking at their recent growth, so you can even see periods in 2022 where it was negative, even more so on their last earnings. Like it wasn't necessarily growing as fast as Arco, uh, so ticker ARCO. And even looking at their balance sheet, so they have about 4.5 billion in cash and cash equivalents, so a little bit more of a stronger safety net, and about 50 billion in debt. So on a comparable ratio basis, like Arcos, I actually, if you took out the names and just showed me the two balance sheets, 10 out of 10 times, I would choose this company. So as far as a health and growth aspect, this definitely does have that. So even in among itself, if you are a value investor, this should be on your watch list. And even them paying a dividend, that's just icing on the cake, of course. Some people might like that, some people might not. This company isn't heavily shorted, nor is McDonald's. So again, I'm just bringing this up more as a benchmark. So right now, shorts are returning about 553 shares, so crazy stuff. 2.07% of the free floats being shorted shorted and 2.71 million shares overall are being shorted. Definitely this is a refresher, a lot of stocks I do cover under this channel and plus my financial journeys stock 
channel, like short interest is usually a 15% higher. So it's kind of refreshing to see 2.07 and that's more of a normal day to day stock. But moving on from here, though, just looking at some of the recent analyst ratings, it doesn't get that much attention. But I think that's just because of the geographics where it's trying to orient themselves. It's not really American. It's kind of more of a spinoff, if that makes sense. It's kind of the uncle that nobody really likes or whatever. I, that's seemed to be a more of a common phrase that has been said well, the damn uncle but aside from that though you do see a lot of bullishness so as a consensus among the was it five ratings fourteen dollars and seventy five cents then that does represent a twenty five percent upside from these levels and even if you think about it the growth aspect um it's i feel like a lot of these ratings are kind of conservative as well but even on a side note though a lot of these analysts don't necessarily have the best ratings such as pedro only twenty five percent robert sixty three percent this one, oh, I've never actually seen this individual before, but 100% success rating. Then again, it's only six out of six, but still 100%. That's fairly good if you kind of think about it. Um, but still, no matter what, though, when it comes down to this company, I do feel it has a ton of upside, even more so looking at the ownership breakdown of this. So about 93.4 million held by institutions, 6.86 million by strategic entities, and majority is this individual right here. So David Copello and other is 110.28 million. So retail essentially does own the float because other is AKA retail. And looking at some of the other big names in this company, you don't have the big ones that tend to cause a lot of manipulation in the broader market, such as BlackRock, Vanguard, and whatever else. So you do have the bigger ones such as Fidelity, um, so I think overall, this is a fairly good thing and definitely does have a lot of good upside. Could it trend down, especially with the recent data that's been coming out more so in the States, but whatever does happen to the States usually does cause more of a ripple effect across the world on a global scale. So even though consumers are showing some signs of slowing, which in turn would really affect this company, if you're looking for a good value play in comparison to McDonald's, um, then I would definitely suggest in looking at this one. Let me know your thoughts on this company. As far as the technicals with it at $11.84, it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So even in comparison to other growth stocks and McDonald's, it is lagging. So 11.73 is gonna be that next strong support that you'll wanna watch for. And coincidentally, that is exactly what it did bounce off of today. And then vice versa, $12.37 is going to be that next strong resistance. So I feel like right now the market's kind of stuck in limbo. It's just waiting for uh, larger data to come out. But technically, again, if you're looking for a good value play, this might be it. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And as I always share with you, definitely take advantage of this promo. This is one of the best deals in the market. Simply sign up for an account with Moomoo through $100 at it, and they give you five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars to take advantage of this link in the description below and also comments with all that said appreciate all of you watching